Hi, this is Vilna and welcome to Wednesday with Vilna. And again, I'm working with these cut files that I designed. Well, not only cut files, they're actually printables that I designed for iHeart Studio. And you can buy them on iHeart Studio. And when you do, you also get two process videos um, as a free bonus. Thank you. So head over there um, if you want to make some full layouts. So if you remember a couple of pages back, we cut out these little leaves and today I'm going to use them and I'm going to dye them, if you want to call it that, with um, some coffee. So what I did was I just made a strong espresso and I just um, decided to dip the leaves in there and just see how it dyes, you know, or how does it color um, and then I'm just going to leave them out on a paper towel to dry. In the end, they were quite timid, you know. I was hoping actually for a stronger effect, but you know, I, you know my, me by now. I just go with the flow, and I just decided to just use them as they are. So when you've done laying them all out, I actually just squeeze. Up. Oh, you know what? It wasn't. It was coffee and tea. I remember I put in a little tea bag. That's why. Sorry, peoples. I'm blonde. So maybe that's why. And then you can just see I just squeezed a little bit of darker color. And then there you can see how they dried. And in the end, you know what? I loved it. I loved the look of it. An easy way to dry them is to put them in a little um, jar and then just use your heat embossing tool and just warm it up you know so they swirl around but they they dry okay so I printed the script that's also part of this full bundle and on a transparency and now I'm just adhering it to the, the layout you can see it's almost like I'm creating a pocket for the leaves and really, this was such a go with the flow. I had no idea where I'm going with this, really. I just thought that I wanted to contain the leaves. In the end, I think I would have liked it a little more if there were some of the leaves that would just like flutter out of this little pocket. And I attempted it later on. But while I was doing it, I thought to myself, you know what? It could have been even a little more. There you can see. So... It would have been nicer if I could have, have a little bit more leaves coming out, maybe in various stages, bottom, middle, and then fl flying out at the top. But then I, I don't know, I, that was just after uh, afterthought, after I stuck everything down. Then I also used these leaves, uh, the, the script ones, I used them in a previous layout so I'm gonna borrow a couple of those um I am so tongue-tied this morning sorry I'm still drinking coffee to wake up but they're cut files and they are cut with my silhouette and I actually used them on the previous layout as you can just go back and now I'm just looking for a photograph and I found this sheet still from last year. I still have not done a photo shoot with my girls for fall. It's hard with Tia being away at university, you know, just to get everyone together. And I love little frames. And next week, which will be the last layout I make with my fall bundle, I also use these little frames. And I, I just love little frames. So, um... I decided to just frame it, this photograph, and place it in the middle. So this is a very symmetrical layout. I'm just looking for the right one. And that mint green really looked so beautifully. As you can see, I put a tiny bit of glue at the bottom and top of the photograph. Just pretend you didn't see that, okay? And now I'm just going to layer the frame over it. You know what I love working with acetate or transparencies lately? Um, like I've said previously, I bought a whole pack of them and I'm just so excited to be designing products that works on transparencies more and more.
Right, now it's time for a little watercolor. And I'm going to just paint the top and bottom. And basically, I just want to frame this layout. So um, you can see very light touch. I'm using orange and pink, which complements the, the full colors, I think. I think, I think a lot, hey, <laughs> for a blonde woman. Um, no, seriously, the combination of orange and pink is probably one of my very favorites. I just absolutely love it. Right, when I dry the watercolors with my embossing tool, I'm just shielding the transparency because I wasn't sure if it's going to melt. And I think because this is an inkjet transparency and not... I don't know, maybe it won't melt, eh? Hey? But I just didn't want to take the, the, the risk. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of pink below. In full disclosure, I have to say something. I love this layout so much that I put it up on my board in front of my computer. It's hanging here for me to see every day. I absolutely love the colors. I love the... I just love everything about it. It's really one of my favorite layouts. I think of all my full layouts. It's one of my favorites. Um, I just dab the paint at the bottom. Why? Because I, I felt it was a little bit too much. Even though looking at the video, I don't think so. But at the time while I was creating it, I thought to myself, it's maybe a little much. And then I'm just painting around just to enforce that border a little bit more and to make it more of a square you can see the square design this is really a wonderful way I love grids I love little photo frames everything I love is on this layout I love watercolors I love white acrylic paint right and now I I'm just going to um mount it on paper i'm gonna punch the edges i'll show you in a second and you know what in the end i actually wrote my journaling with a permanent marker on the transparency itself and it really turned out so beautiful go to my blog vilnafirstenburg.com and have a look there's a link in the description part of the video and have a look at the detail shots for this layout and you will see what 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 I mean by writing on the transparency. So this is words by Dear Dizzy and in the end I decided to go with Dream and I just used a tiny bit of hot glue and I just stuck it down because this is such a dreamy page, right? And now I'm just going to punch the edges and then frame it with a very delicate background paper. I just love that background paper with the tiny little uh, triangles it almost looks like polka dots but if you look closely they're actually little triangles I'm taking off a quarter of an inch around the layout or is it an eighth I don't know I think it's an eighth of an inch you see that's why I'm a fan of the metric system people because then I could tell you half a centimeter or five millimeters anyway so just because I want to keep the centrality of the design so I didn't just chop it off on one side and you can see the Fiskars paper punch that I use I'll see if I can find one and link it in my this in my related products on my blog and I'm very randomly just punching here and there and that's just to make the border a little bit of a feature you know make it a little bit more interesting um, and also I think maybe I wanted more of the background to shine through and this is a great way to do it I think it also makes the layout soft and it works with this romantic feel that this layout has so just a little bit of adhesive and now I'm just putting it down so thank you so much for watching Wednesday with Vilna. I just want to say it's the last day of September. And tomorrow is the first day of October. You can see some details. 
while I'm showing the, you that, I just want to quickly mention that the new content is going up on r to heart workshop. Here's a quick sneak peek of it. And I'm very excited about this month's content. It's going to be lovely. And I hope you join me in that workshop. Bye.